West Ham have only gone and won the Europa Conference League. I can't believe it. Look, I didn't want it to happen, but you can only admire it. And let's face it, that end, when that goal went in, that was poetry. That was football. Watching basically half of Essex collapse in jubilous celebration as Jared Bowen hit a winner. It was a scene to behold. Incredible support for West Ham. They took 25,000 out there. It's impressive and they do deserve it. It's historic. You know, football is about moments. Football is about memories. It's about creating a legacy that lasts forever. And that is what West Ham have done. They have written their name in the history books of West Ham forever. And those players and David Moyes has secured legendary status at that club. Ron Greenwood, John Lyle, David Moyes. What company David Moyes is now in. He has won European silverware for West Ham United. Now, look, the Conference League does come in for a lot of stick. I remember Brendan Rodgers was very harsh about it. When his team got into it, he said he didn't even know what it was. You know, Tottenham saw it as a distraction, didn't they? They didn't want to be in it at all. And I think generally it's had a rather unceremonious start to life, but it's European competition. It's planting your flag in European silverware. There is nothing more glorious as a football fan than winning European silverware and West Ham United have done that today. It is their first major trophy for 43 years. 43 years those fans have waited and they have finally won another trophy. Not since 1980. Frank Lampard's father, Frank Lampard, my idol, his father, played in that team. They beat Arsenal at Wembley in an FA Cup final in 1980. And not since then have they won European silverware. But thanks to Jared Bowen's last-minute winner, the 43-year wait for a trophy has ended. They have beaten Fiorentina in the Conference League final. Not since 1965 have they won European so have they tasted European success? I mean, it's an emotional night for those fans, isn't it? In Prague, going potty. Can you imagine the night that Charlie Roxburgh and Bazinga are going to have? They are going to be going wild. And look, I think people can be quite harsh about this, right? They're going to tell you that it's Europe's third tier competition and it's one that's treated as a distraction by many big clubs. But, but this is West Ham. And, you know, West Ham, they routinely flirt with relegation. They see relegation as an occupational hazard. This is West Ham United who made a real song and dance about leaving their old ground. They made an almighty pig's ear of moving into their new ground. You know, they've had to go beg into their former manager to come back to rescue them from relegation. 18 months after they got rid of him for rescuing them from relegation. I remember when David Moyes actually went back there, their fans were gutted. I remember when he was off, he had a prolonged period of not being able to be on the sidelines. Their fans were happy. They thought they were better off without him. But today, all of that is put to bed. David Moyes has managed to write his name in West Ham folklore. Ron Greenwood, John Lyle and David Moyes. They are the trophy-winning West Ham managers. It's only a trio. Only three men have managed to win silverware for West Ham United. And David Moyes now has his name etched in West Ham folklore forever. And remember, just nine weeks ago, David Moyes watched as the away fans at Craven Cottage unfurled a Moyes out banner. They won that game. They won that game 1-0, weirdly. But they wanted him out. And had they not won that game, he would have probably been sacked. It just shows you the small margins of the beautiful game. I mean, it's an amazing, an amazing game. There were some wonderful scenes at the end. Declan Rice got a fan on the pitch, a little kid, had him on his shoulders and then was dancing around with him. I mean, the kid must have just been like truly, truly loving it. And those memories will live with him forever. Doing the Jared Bowen song. Woo. Da, 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 little kid on Declan Rice's shoulders doing that. Amazing. And what a day for Declan Rice to win a European trophy on his final game for West Ham United. Like, I'm being snide. I'm being sneering. No need for that, Rory. Absolutely no need for that. I, I apologise. But 
West Ham have done it. An amazing goal as well. I mean, Paqueta with the pass. Beautiful. I have a needle pass. Very few players would be able to play it. And even few, fewer players would be able to see that pass. Paqueta, I mean, he played it from his own half. Sent Bowen through. I think it was that Biragi. Did not have a good day at all. Played uh, Bowen on side by about half a yard. Brilliant finish from Bowen. Charged at the keeper. The keeper went down early, I thought. But Bowen kept his cool, kept his composure. The only thing that wound me up, the commentator said it's up for grabs now. You cannot say that. That belongs to Arsenal. That is strictly theft. That is an Arsenal expression. It's up for grabs now at Anfield. You cannot say it's up for grabs now about anything other than Arsenal playing at Anfield. How the commentator has the audacity to say it's up for grabs now in any other context is a disgrace. Um, overall, I did love it, though. It was a, it was just amazing. The only thing that I found frustrating, I thought Robbie Savage was a right pain tonight. Like, didn't stop talking. Made it all about himself as often as possible. Kept screaming, Moisey. I thought Don Hutchinson was brilliant, though. He actually said we need to be quiet here and just allow the West Ham fans to make the noise because that's what everyone wants to see. It's uh, truly amazing. I can't really believe that it's happened, but West Ham United have won European silverware. It's actually happened. Um, fair play to David Moyes, fair play to West Ham, fair play to all of the West Ham fans that went out there. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. With um, Manchester City playing so well in the Premier League and sort of dominating domestic trophies, is there a world where teams will have to look to these kind of European competition, competitions to actually prioritise. You know, Jamie Carragher said something quite interesting on Twitter. He basically said, because of Man City, it's not going to be easy to win any domestic trophy. So maybe go for this kind of European trophy. Maybe you have to start focusing on other things because Manchester City are simply so good. I mean, I didn't want West Ham to win. I did not want them to win at all. But those teams are special. Like, they were truly, truly brilliant. I mean, and watching David Moyes do a sort of weird dad dancing in sort of weird disbelief and pure gratitude, it really did feel like a once-in-a-lifetime moment. Proper. Absolute proper. Hero Moisey, eh? Never thought I'd say those words. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Will you please please consider joining this community. I would love it if you would click that subscribe button right now. Please give this video a like. And West Ham United have done it. Have yourselves a wonderful night. And congratulations to everyone from East, East, East London. East, East, East London.